This is important. Okie dokie, Teddy. Safe and sound, safe and sound at home, at school, and all the time. Let's learn about safety, then we'll be safe and sound, both you and me. If you see a spark or hear a splash, make a spill or see a crash, learn all about what you should do, because being safe is important to you. And you too. <laughs> safe and sound, safe and sound, at home, at school, and all around. Let's learn about safety, then we'll be. Safe and sound, both you and me. Hello. It's nice to be with you today. I have a very important story to tell you. Can you guess what it's about? Safety? A good guess, Grubby. <laughs> I thought that song had something to do with it. <laughs> this story begins with Grubby. That's a good beginning. Grubby was taking a class at Leota's school. His first homework assignment was to write a paper about something important, anything important. Grubby thought that it would be easy to do, so he put off starting the paper until the day before it was due. Now Grubby was really worried. Teddy, Teddy, my important paper about something important is due tomorrow, and I can't think of something that's important enough to write my important paper about. Can you help me, Teddy? It's important. I'll try, Grubby. But no matter how hard we tried, Grubby wasn't satisfied. So he went outside to see if he could get any more ideas. He wasn't gone long. Who is it? It's me, Grubby. Okay, Grubby. Let me unlock the door and I'll let you in. How'd it go, Grubby? It didn't. You didn't find anything to write about? Nothing. And that's just what I'll hand in to Leota tomorrow. Nothing. Zip. Zero. Zilch. Poor Grubby. I've never seen him so down before. I'll just go up to my room now and do zilch. This wasn't like Grubby. I knew I had to do something to cheer him up. Grubby, come downstairs. I've made you a root butter and jelly sandwich. You're not too sad to eat, are you? Hmm, I'll check. How you feeling, Tommy? Not too bad? <laughs> then let's go. I'm coming down, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Whoa! Sure, Teddy. It takes more than slipping on a roller skate, zipping across the living room, zooming into the kitchen, knocking over a big wooden table, and spilling a vase of water to hurt us octopedes. I think you were pretty lucky, Grubby. You could have really been hurt. I don't think you should leave your toys lying around on the floor. Yeah, especially ones I can slip on. And we should both make sure that stairs are kept clear of objects at all times. If we see something on the floor where it shouldn't be, we should pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, wipe it up, wipe it up. It's easy to learn to keep out of harm's way. Pick it up, pick it up, wipe it up, wipe it up. Let's make pick it a habit to do, do every day. Leaving things on the floor just isn't wise. It can really be dangerous and unpleasant surprise. Whoa. Pick it up, pick it up. Let's be alert, then everything's safer and we won't get hurt. Pick it up, pick it up. Wipe it up, wipe it up. It's easy to learn to keep out of harm's way. Pick it up, pick it up, wipe it up, wipe it up. Let's make it a habit to do every day. Make it a habit to do every day. We better pick up these roller skates right now, Grubby. Where's the other one? The other five, you mean? Oh no! You mean... Yep, I got a complete set. Racing stripes and all. 
Well, we'd better get busy before someone really gets hurt. Right, Teddy. And what about this water I spilled on the floor? Someone can slip on that, too. Good thinking, Grubby. If something is spilled on the floor or the ground, it just isn't safe to leave it lying around. Uh -huh. Wipe it up. Wipe it up. Let's all guarantee that our homes will be safer for the whole family. Pick it up. Pick it up. Wipe it up. Wipe it up. It's easy to learn to keep out of harm's way. Pick it up. Pick it up. Wipe it up. Wipe it up. Let's make it a habit to do every day. Get a habit to do every day. Now don't go anywhere, Teddy. Let me wipe up that spill first. I'll get a towel. Okay, Grubby. You know, sometimes accidents like Grubby had do happen. And sometimes people do get hurt. If an accident ever happens at your house, stay calm. You have a wonderful tool right in your house that can get help for you quickly. The telephone. It's a good idea to keep an emergency list of telephone numbers near or on the telephone, like police, sheriff, fire, and ambulance numbers, your parents' work numbers, a trusted relative or neighbor's number, and your own home telephone number. If you need help, Always remember to speak clearly. Give your complete name and address, and never hang up until you've given all the information needed. Teddy, you can relax now. I'm bringing a towel. Oh, good grub. Oh. Grubby, Grubby, are you okay? Yeah, looks like I found roller skate number two. I thought that door was open. Someone should put a sticker or something on that glass door so you can tell when it's closed. Good idea, Grubby. Maybe Gimmick has something that'll work. Oh, here, how about this? Yeah, that looks good, Teddy. Now I'll go wipe up that spill. Grubby did a great job cleaning up the spilled water. The floor was very dry and very clean, too. Whew. All done. I'll go hang this wet towel on a pot building stove. It'll dry faster that way. A uh, grubby, it's not a good idea to put towels or clothing near stoves or heaters. Maybe you'd better hang it outside. Oh, right, Teddy. Oh, oh, oh! Grubby, grubby, what happened? I think I found a third roller skate. I think I'll go back inside and try to find the rest of the roller skates. Maybe you'd better stay outside and hang up that towel, Grubby. Hey, that gives me an idea for my paper. All about towel drying, fact for fiction. Mm -hmm. I went carefully back inside the house. There were still three more roller skates to be found. I crawled behind the couch, and there was roller skate number four. Then I found something else that could be dangerous. The electrical cord to Gimmick's automatic room lighter upper was broken and worn out. Hey, Grubby, I found something really important. What is it, Teddy? A hole in the floor that leads to a secret underground tunnel? A miniature rhinoceros recently escaped from a teeny tiny traveling circus? Now that's something I could write about. No, I found this. You want me to write about a piece of wire? No, Grubby. I just mean that this is dangerous. It could start a fire. We should tell Gimmick about this when he gets home. Sure, Teddy. But what am I going to tell Yoda tomorrow? I mean, I can't just walk in there and... Whoa! Not again! Grubby, where are you? In the broom closet with roller skate number five. Hey, what's in this bottle? Smells good. You better not touch that, Grubby. We don't know what it is. But it smells good, and it's the same color as root butter. Well, it might look and smell interesting, but it could be harmful. Guess you're right, Teddy. You know, things are getting pretty bumpy around here. 
Maybe I better sit down and finish the real root butter snack. Good idea, Grubby. I'll help you up. Thanks, Teddy. Grubby, look out! There's... Whoops! Roller skate number six. Well, at least we found them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, after Grubby and I put away all his roller skates, we sat down to have our snack. Grubby was very hungry. Yep, roller skating always builds up my appetite. <laughs> Do you feel any better, Grubby? A little, but I still don't have anything to hand in tomorrow. I've been doing lots of falling and no writing. Hey, that's it, Teddy. I just figured out the important something important enough to write my paper about. Safety. Great, Grubby. I'll go write my paper right now. Whoops. Don't worry, Teddy. I'm going to wipe that spill up first, before I do anything else. Looks like you've really learned how to be safe at home, Grubby. And you've turned into a pretty good wiper-upper, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, Teddy. And now to finally write my important paper. Whoa! What happened, Grubby? I thought we picked up all the roller skates. Yeah, but I forgot about my skateboard. Oh, Grubby. <laughs> safe and sound, safe and sound, at home, at school, and all around. Let's learn about safety, then we'll be safe and sound, both you and me. Grubby and I learned a lot about being safe when he wrote his important paper. Yep, we sure did, Teddy. We learned never to open the door to strangers. Always ask who it is first. And lock the door when you're home alone. Don't leave toys around that you can slip on. Keep stairs, floors, and sidewalks clear of objects at all times. Always clean up spills right away. Stay calm in an emergency. Use the telephone to get help. Speak clearly. Give your complete name and address and all the information needed. And keep a list of emergency numbers handy. Make sure glass doors have stickers on them so people will know they're shut. Don't put towels or clothing near stoves or heaters. And you shouldn't get too close either. Stay away from cleaning and gardening materials. Report any worn out or broken electrical cords to an adult. And never touch anything if you don't know what it is. It could hurt you or make you very sick. Grubby was very proud when he handed his paper into Leota the next day. And he was even prouder when he got his paper back. Yep, I got an A plus. I hope you get lots of A's in safety too. Bye-bye. <laughs>